Good morning, happy Valentine's Day. I hope everybody's having a wonderful Valentine's Day. Bo is trying to take his socks off here. He hates socks. I think it's because he can grip better with his feet on the floor. So he, uh, he's actually happiest when he doesn't have any clothes on at all. He just likes to be a naked boy. Yeah. So, <laughs> today I woke up and of course it's our wedding anniversary too. So we've been married 15 years. That's so fun, I love it. Um, and it felt really cold in here. And so I tried everything, could not figure out why it is so cold in here. So I think another heating unit is broken in our house. So thankfully we have several. So the other ones are kind of compensating, but one of them supposedly is like leaking free on. They're trying to figure out why that's happening. Another one isn't working. I don't know. So we have a broken, broken. So I called the repair people and they're gonna come out and look at the furnace. So then I go to do laundry and one of our dryers just decides to stop working. I, I, I can't make this up. And so our we have a dryer and it turns on, but it doesn't heat and it doesn't spin. It just like sits there and makes a noise. So we have a broken dryer, and if you remember from last week, we still have a broken dishwasher, broken microwave, broken freezer, what else? And then, and then of course, like two broken furnaces. <laughs> I mean, like everything's breaking, but it's Valentine's Day, it's our anniversary, it's going to be a great day, right? And we have Valentine parties today. The kids were so excited about their Valentine parties at school, and I'll open them, I will, in just a second. And um, after we go to the Valentine parties, we're going to go deliver roses to a nursing home. We've done that a few years now, and it's so I'm looking forward to that to deliver roses to the residents at an assisted living facility. Um, it's just always a fun time. So many of the people at the assisted living are women because a lot of times women live longer than men, and so they are there. They don't have husbands. They're not getting flowers, and so. When the kids bring them roses, it just makes their day, and it actually makes our day more than theirs probably because it's just it's just a really sweet act of kindness to do that, and the kids love that. And so it's gonna be a fun day. We're gonna to go to the Valentine parties. We're gonna deliver roses. It's our anniversary. It's Valentine's Day. I made cinnamon rolls this morning. I woke up really early to finish the cinnamon rolls. I had to make the icing and then um, cook the rolls and then let them cool and then put the icing on them. And then the kids came downstairs and every year I always have like little chocolates ready for them for Valentine's Day and so I did that. And so they enjoyed eating the cinnamon rolls and of course I enjoyed sitting there listening to them say, these are so good, I love these. Because it took most of yesterday to make those. And so I will never look at cinnamon rolls that are homemade the same way again. Like, if you're eating a homemade cinnamon roll, somebody put in a whole day's work on that cinnamon roll. So you better tell the cook that you enjoy them <laughs> because they put a lot of work into those. Um, all right, so I hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day. I'm gonna post the marriage challenge next. I might actually have time to go live later. Um, we'll see. If I'm not frozen, it's 63 degrees in here. I'm so cold, I might get a blanket. <laughs> ah, I hope you have heat, I hope your dryer works. I hope your dishwasher works and your microwave works. <laughs> and I hope you're having a wonderful Valentine's Day. <gasps> okay, we're going in the oven. Okay, I've got Valentine's Day set up for the kids. Just a little chocolate heart, a rose, and a Cadbury egg. It's kind of our tradition to just do that every Valentine's Day. And so they always look forward to coming down and getting their chocolates and eating their cream egg. They love those. Every year we always stock up on those because they could just eat them, eat them every day. <laughs> They're out of the oven. Now I'm going to let them sit for 10 minutes and put the icing on. We have Valentine parties today. I went ahead and put all the ingredients in my sourdough and I'm going to sit here and do my tuck and folds and 
get my dough ready and try to get this bread ready before the Valentine parties today. Okay, they're all done. They look yummy, yummy. All right, is it thumbs up? Mm -hmm. Are they good? Are they good? Thumbs up. Genesis, thumbs up. Sam, thumbs up. Are they good? Liam, do you like them? Mm -hmm. All right. Everyone, like, do I yum, yum. You like your Valentine chocolates? Is that yummy? Yeah. Good. You say Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Yay! We're gonna go to the kids' parties today. Won't that be fun? Can't wait. So today I'm so excited because we are going to start doing kindergarten work. This is big, big, big. Super exciting. You ready? Ready for kindergarten work is gonna be so yeah. fun. Okay, yeah. so today we are going to learn vowels and we're going to learn the sounds they make in circle pictures that start with the vowel, right? So, the letters, <laughs> you're so silly. Face isn't bow. So let's say our vowels. Remember their names? Let's say their names. What is this letter? Is it A? A. What sound does A make? Is it A for apple? Apple. Apple. And then this is letter E. And it makes the sound E. Can you say that? E. E. Like elephant, right? Or Evi, right? Like in our book. And then I is right here. I, I makes the sound I. Uh, I look like a one. It does kind of look like a one. That's right. I know you know this letter. Can you say this letter? Uh, uh. O. And it makes the sound aw, ah, like octopus. It's just my name. Yeah, there's an O in your name, isn't it? C O R A. Look, there's an A in your name too, isn't there? Okay, so the next one is O. And O makes the sound aw. Ah. Do you hear the aw sound in octopus? Yeah. I do. What about in ostrich? You hear the aw sound in ostrich? I yeah. do too. Do you hear the aw sound for O in horse? No. I don't. All right, so let's circle <laughs> octopus and ostrich. You did kindergarten work. You're so smart. Okay, let's hold our pencil correctly. Here you go. Boop. There you go. And write Cora. Write your name. C O R A. That was really good. So you're doing so good today. I love this. You're doing kindergarten work. You're doing color by number. Where's some other fours? Those are fours, yes. That's really good. That's, that's a five. That's okay. That's okay. You, you didn't need to. And there's a four, yes. Color that. I wonder what the picture's going to be. And that's a four, too, isn't it? And then it says color the fives. This color. What is this color? Red. It says color the fives red. So let's find the fives. Yes, that's a five. Can you hold your pencil correctly? Let me help you. There you go. Boop. And it's color like that. Okay. So color the fives red. That is so good. <laughs> oh. Can you hand me the triangle? <laughs> <Thank you. gasps> 
Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Can you hand me the heart? <laughs> Can you hand me the rectangle? <laughs> Can you hand me the <laughs> the oval? <laughs> and what is that one's name? Circle, circle, circle. Good girl, I get you. <laughs> okay, good job, Cora. The kids asked me to make little small loaves of bread this time. So instead of making two larger loaves, I'm making four smaller loaves. And we are right on track. I'm going to let these sit for about an hour and then start cooking them. I forgot to announce our giveaway winners. So our giveaway winners from yesterday's post, each getting $100, are Annie Meyer and Lisa Jansen. So congratulations to them. I've messaged both of them. And... Um, remember that if anyone messages you during our giveaways that is not me, I'll always put my name at the end. I'll always say Carla. I will never ask you for any money or any addresses or anything like that. I'll just ask for PayPal or Venmo names. So if you ever get a request asking for you to send money to get a giveaway that pretends to be for me, it is not me. So, um, but anyway, congratulations to Annie and Lisa. I feel like it's so cold in here because our heater is not working that my bread is not my dough is not like acting like it should like this has been sitting an hour and it's not rising like it normally does so I decided to open the oven because that feels so nice it's at 425 and just keep Bo away from the oven and let the heat kind of help with the the bread because my dough is cold and my dough is not wanting to rise. So I'm just going to let that sit. Hopefully that works. Hopefully, even though everything is broken in my house, I can still make um, decent bread today.
Oh, okay. I pick arrow. So open up arrow. What does it say? Give a compliment to the student in the class. Okay. So tell. Okay, we are about to do our tradition where we go give roses on Valentine's Day to people that live in an assisted living facility. So let's go, it's gonna be so fun. <laughs> she has uh, a nice crown. Yeah, yeah. Nice yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is your fun fact? Her middle name is Rose. Oh, that's right. That is that is a fun fact. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Look at that. Happy Valentine's Day. And while we were gone, the dishwasher got fixed. Yay. And the microwave works now. And what else? The freezer. We have to order a part for it. But that is working, but it still needs a part. And It appears that we have heat, so things are looking up and up. And I think the dryer is fixed too. I need to go check on that. Let's go see if the dryer is fixed. Oh. And